Plus, we got eight wheels and tires touching the ground. You got a big 12,000 pound or more jack up here on the front of the tongue to support the load of the house on multiple different points when it's sitting and people are living in and out of it. Now, when considering that tiny houses move down a highway at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour plus, not only do you have headwinds sometimes, but you also have debris, you have uh, potential damage to the front leading edge of a tiny home. Um, we've seen some that suffer damage from being moved because they weren't built to a code that, you know, maybe sustain a 100 mile an hour wind. If it's blowing 30 this way and you're going 70 that way, 70 plus 30 is 100 miles an hour. So when you get up into those triple digit wind speeds, when you're towing a house down a highway, you need extra structure to make sure that it's not going to rack or twist or cause any you know, long-term damage over time that can accumulate.